Imagine landing your dream job in that cloud or DevOps role in just three months, even if you've never set your foot in the industry before. Sound too good to be true? Well, buckle up because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make it happen. Yes, you heard me right. With the strategies and insider tips I'm going to share in this video, you can confidently pursue your cloud and DevOps role and get that job you've always admired, regardless of your prior experience, okay? So get ready to unleash your potential and fast track your career journey like never before. Subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. Click on the bell icon as well. That way you get notification or get notified every time I publish a new video. Also give me a thumbs thumbs up because I believe you're going to enjoy this video. We can get started. Tip number one, build your skill set and gain hands-on experience. This cannot be overemphasized because actually you need to acquire essential technical skills and knowledge required for DevOps or cloud roles. Okay. You need to focus on tools and technologies that matters. So in this same channel, I've actually shared the top 10 DevOps tools that you can focus on because we have a lot of tools. So depending on what you're interested in, I will emphasize that you build your skill set so much that employers or recruiters cannot get their eyes off you. You need to gain the practical experience by working on real world projects. The thing with building projects is that it can make you stronger. It can actually help you to, you know, see what to talk about during your interviews. Okay. From my interview experience, um, they will ask me to talk about the project I've worked on in DevOps or cloud all right so even though i've written some certifications um recruiters are really more interested in you know seeing the experience and the skills you have all right they want to really you know be convinced that you can do same in their environment they want to see how strong you are so I noticed that no one has actually cared to ask me uh, to share the knowledge I gain, all right, in writing a particular certification. I'm not saying it's not important to write certification, but if you want to hear more on this, I also have a video in this channel. I'm going to be dropping the link in the description below, all right, where I shared um, the ways you can actually balance certification and gaining project, uh, you know, experience, all right. So I employ you to build more projects, build it and never get tired because this is how you get yourself ready. This is how you get prepared to land that cloud or DevOps role. Okay. I have some projects in this channel and after this video, you can actually check them out. All right. Feel free to explore my channel. It is actually free. Okay. And you can also utilize online courses, tutorials, you know, to also give you that knowledge and the skill you need need okay feel free to showcase your skill once you're done building your project don't hide it because that is the good way to showcase that yes i know this and i can actually do it when i gain this job the second tip here is build your portfolio this is very very important okay like i said in the first tip after working on those projects please don't hide them okay um, especially when you don't even have any experience at all your portfolio will be your helper in this case okay and it's not just all about building your portfolio you need to have a rich portfolio actually various platforms you can utilize to build your portfolio okay uh the first one is github okay do you have a github account do you have a profile there how does your profile look github is a great platform to showcase your coding project to showcase the contributions you've made to open source projects open source is another great way to gain the exposure and uh, uh, experience that you actually need okay and you can also collaborate on projects yes it is actually very helpful i've collaborated on project before and it was a it was very very helpful to me all right and um so after working on this you need to make your readme files very very interesting to read you need to document everything the details the description all right so that when recruiters check that they can you know pick interest in the work you've done so ensure you have a rich github profile okay 
And again, we also have portfolio websites. You can actually create a personal uh, website where you can display your projects, your skills, your resume, and contact information. Um, you can design the website professionally to, you know, in order to make a strong visual impression on potential employers. Another great platform to showcase your skill is LinkedIn. You need to have your LinkedIn profile uh, to be on point, all right? You need to optimize it in order to highlight your professional experiences, skills, and accomplishments. So the truth is that when you have your profile optimized, you actually stand a better chance of being um, viewed by recruiters of being selected because the way this algorithm works is so shocking. I will actually advise everyone to have that visibility on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has really helped my career growth. Um, it's not something I'll start sharing right now, but believe you me, LinkedIn has been of great help, um, you know, to my career growth, okay? Because I try as much as possible to, you know, to post what I work on, to share my knowledge, and also I believe my uh, you no know, profile is optimized, okay? And it might not be the best, but I believe <laughs> I believe it's good to an extent, okay? So you need to have your profile optimized. Try as much as possible to also share what you've worked on. Post it. Actually, you know, some employers might be taking a look at all these stuffs, but you might not know, okay? So that visibility is very important. Let your profile be top notch, okay? So that when the algorithm starts speaking um you know those with experience or those with that skills you can actually be on top of the list okay um this is just one of the posts i've shared here i like sharing my videos here on linkedin i share projects i've worked on you can as well connect with me on linkedin okay um so yeah, this is just to emphasize that you need that visibility, help them to discover you, help them to see you. And then because most of times, you know, it's not really all about applying for job. You can actually be there having your optimized LinkedIn profile looking very rich. And then a recruiter will just reach out to you uh, to send your CV. And from there, you can be interviewed and you get the job. Share your knowledge, okay? I believe everyone mustn't post as much as I do, okay? But just make it um, that duty if you really want to be radical with this job search. Be visible is going to help you with more opportunities and yeah and you can get your dream job faster than when you're hiding your knowledge or your skills and experiences okay number two tip i have here is to network with professionals network and connect with professionals okay Network with professionals in the DevOps and cloud community through professional platforms like LinkedIn, online forums, meetups, and tech events. I'm so excited right now because, um, you know, I have two tech events coming up later this month, okay? And I can't wait to network and connect with other professionals, engaging with industry experts, asking questions, and sharing knowledge as well, okay? If you really want to grow in this industry, you can't do DevOps or cloud alone you need to attend tech events look for online platforms where you connect with others okay because you this is actually one of the ways you seek for mentorship this is one of the ways you get um you know more opportunities you can get job opportunities you can get other um you know Whatever career growth you need, you can get in engaging with people, connecting and networking, okay? And you see how your learning and career growth will boom, okay? And I want you to leverage platforms like LinkedIn. We have professionals all over the world. You can connect with them. But please, when you're connecting with them, connect professionally. Don't come and say hi because I have a lot of hi in my inbox right now and I don't know how to reply to hi. If you want to connect, please 
connect professionally okay and you can connect with recruiters you can connect with um you know ctos depending on the role you're looking for okay connect professionally also connect with people like you in cloud and devops role because someone might actually have an opportunity in their industry and they can actually recommend you okay very very important please don't do cloud or devops alone you need that exposure you need to learn from others you need to you know share knowledge and learn from others as well let's see what we have in tip number four please revamp your cv and cover later these are the first impression on potential recruiters or employers okay it is very very essential to ensure they look or they effectively showcase your skills and experiences you know that revamping your cv and cover letter actually demonstrates your commitment to professionalism and attention to detail okay it is your opportunity to highlight your achievement and expertise in a compelling way even without you having an experience you can actually add all the project or your portfolio in your you know in your resume to highlight what you've worked on after having an experience is also an opportunity to add the project or your portfolio on your resume which will help to highlight what you're capable of doing or your skills and experiences also consider using a reputable resume builder platforms or template to streamline the process okay Websites such as a resume.io Zeti offers you user friendly templates and customization options to create that visually appealing resumes and cover letters. Okay. So like I was saying, this platform provides you with professional uh, design template that will be tailored to various industry and job roles. They can also offer helpful tips and suggestions to optimize your content and formatting, okay? So by ramping your CVs and cover letters, you are not only enhancing your chances of landing interviews, but also showcasing your dedication to presenting yourself in the best possible light. Um, tip number five, use reputable and right job boards for your job application using the right and reputable job boards broadens your job search offering you diverse opportunities from large corporations to smaller companies for those that want to work with startup okay so that way you're sure that you're just not wasting your time applying to jobs that probably doesn't exist okay uh in this channel i have a video i've published where i share the top sites for cloud and devops role and this will help you to uh you know to ensure that you're actually using the right job board to apply okay no. video i'm talking about will pop up on your screen right now or you can get that in the description below so this is basically to help you to search in the right uh, place at the right time and also with the roles that you're sure they exist actually, okay? Also using the sites that frequently update or post jobs daily can help you to stay current on your applications. Example is LinkedIn. LinkedIn has thousands of jobs, okay? And it's now left for you to use the right filter to filter the job correctly, uh, just to ensure that your um, applying to the right job in the country that you want it and also apply to current job i also have a video in this channel where i've discussed how to search for job on linkedin effectively so please ensure you watch that video it will be helpful to you Additionally, using a reputable uh, job board offers you extra resources like uh, resume builders and interview tips for other support in your job search. Okay. Moreover, this platform ensures genuine and current job posting. Like I've said, it will help to enhance your chances of finding the perfect opportunity for yourself. And the sixth point I have here is to prepare for your interviews while waiting. So whether you're still waiting, you don't have any interviews yet, or you have interview at hand, these tips can help you to prepare for that interview, um, you know, in a better way. So you have to prepare thoroughly. That is actually by researching for companies or for a particular company that you've been uh called for interview okay practice technical questions 
because actually sometimes what happens during interviews um you know sometimes you may not be able to answer question correctly because not because you don't really know the answer but because you are under pressure okay you can actually forget but you know having enough preparation to back you up can help you in your interview preparation Enough preparation for your interview can give you the right confidence you need to discuss your skills and experiences, to discuss what you've worked on, okay? Um, you know, there's this pressure that comes with interview and, you know, feeling nervous and all that, but adequate preparation can actually help you to overcome that, okay? So before your interview, you can actually uh, no, note down your skills, note down your experiences, the project you've worked on, just to like have them, um, just to visualize them once again and ensure that you're not missing out on um, any of your skills or experience that could actually help you to get the job, all right? So ensure that you don't leave any stone unturned, okay? So utilize mock interviews we have on YouTube and other, you know, platform like uh, GitHub and all that. You can as well pair with your friends or colleagues to practice. You can also use various online resources to enhance your interview skills and confidence like i said earlier so adequate preparations will get you right on the track and ensure that you actually perform well during interviews practice they said leads to perfection so how do you perfect your interview skills when you've not practiced but seven apply daily and remain active applying daily and remaining active in your job search is actually very crucial for maintaining that momentum and increasing your chances of success when i was searching i would ensure that i apply up to 10 jobs per day can you do that you can even do more that is not actually being desperate that is to ensure that you have um you know better chances of being called for interview i would advise you set aside time each day for job search and also please tailor your applications and don't just apply randomly to any job you see okay because it's not all about the number of jobs you apply but the quality and while applying keep track of your progress and maintain a structured approach to your job search effort and remember consistency is key even on days when you feel discouraged please i i i encourage you right to keep going never give up because if you get discouraged and stop how will the job come so you, you need to just maintain that um momentum continue to take action daily and remain proactive in your job search efforts i believe that you will definitely land that role number eight this is actually the last but not the least tip i will encourage you to stay persistent and positive i have actually experienced this uh rejection firsthand so i know how rejection is like i've felt it um it was actually very overwhelming applying for jobs daily and then you're facing rejections um but i'll encourage you to you know maintain that positive attitude Dude. We actually live in a very competitive world of job hunting because, I mean, there are thousands of, you know, individuals, even with experience, that are still searching for job, a cloud or DevOps role, okay? So staying persistent is the key. Staying positive is the key. Don't be discouraged by rejections or setbacks, okay? Remember, every no brings you closer to a yes, okay? I believe that each rejection is actually an opportunity to learn and grow. Use feedbacks from um, your recruiters, you know, to improve your approach and tell out your applications accordingly. Um, uh, I'll also advise you cultivate a positive mindset, okay? Believe in yourself and your abilities. Don't believe that you don't, um, that you know nothing, okay? Just visualize that success and stay focused on your goals. You know, positivity breeds resilience and resilience leads to success. And also to help you, to also help you build that positive mindset, I will encourage you to surround yourself with supportive people who uplift and 
encourage you um you know to keep going okay this is actually very very important and i really wish you all the best i believe that by the time you apply all the tips and strategies i've shared so far uh the sky will be your starting point i want to you know i want to celebrate with you when you finally land the row you can connect with me on linkedin once you click on my profile in this channel you'll be able to see my linkedin profile i can as well share it in the description below so in conclusion stay focused remain positive stay resilient and stay optimistic that dream job is just within the reach okay also pray prayer can actually help you I'm a product of grace. Pray and hope that that dream job is just around the corner. All you have to do is to do your best and leave the rest for God. I wish you all the best in your job search. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.